What is up ladies and gentlemen, many here, welcome back to the channel, time to get back in shape. I recently thought, um, if you're following the channel more closely, then you might know that I did a bigger rest up until recently. Actually, I'm still doing a quite big rest in terms of climbing. But up until recently, I started to, uh, you know, get back into shape when it comes to the calisthenic stuff again. And this is why I thought I'm gonna share one of my, um, you know, my lawn sessions with you that I had recently. I think this was the second lawn session that I had since a, I don't know, one and a half, one and a half month break uh, in terms of training, actually. This is actually a pretty cool uh, mobilization exercise here, which I found, you know, trying to um, grab the, the opposite hand behind the back. It's pretty interesting how we are one-sided in that kind of regard, obviously. Usually for people, it is much easier to do it with one side uh, compared to the other. And I have the opinion, yeah, if I'm going with my right hand on the back from below like that, I'm just much more in, inflexible, you know, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a lot better the other way around. But anyway, it would be cool to do it, to be able to do it with both sides, I thought. So I'm trying to incorporate this a little bit into my mobilizing routine now. So yeah, a bigger break occurred since the ending of the recent Greece trip and I think the main reason for that was essentially because I was just so saturated with climbing. I did so many meters and so much volume during that Greece trip that yeah, in terms of climbing I wasn't really that psyched anymore if you know what I mean. Additionally to that, you know, the conditions were not so ideal, it was quite warm, it was summer, moist as well, which it still is, but at the same time it's actually quite cool at the moment, so if it wouldn't rain as much, I have the impression that um, it would actually be quite good conditions, so yeah. In case there's any local climbers from the Grazer Bergland on here, maybe tell me down below how the conditions are in the local crags, <laughs> so that I know if I can actually visit something. Anyway, I thought the number one thing that I can easily do to get back into shape, at least body strength wise, is of course a lawn session like that. Doing my uh, body strength trias, as I usually call it, with it, which is the handstand up, this kind of controlled Swiss handstand thing like there, um, and then of course the planche attempt thing and the uh, front lever attempts. So let's see how it goes with that, actually. Uh, again, this was my uh, second session, I think, after the comeback, so yeah, we're still not quite into the exercises uh, in terms of muscle memory and everything, but I have to say it already worked out quite well during that session. Let's see here, a little, little uh, planche attempt there, quite decent. Okay, not so bad. So the plan is to slowly but surely come back in terms of body strength power while my girlfriend is still pregnant, which you might know if you've been following the live streams a little bit. Um, obviously there's not as much time right now to go outdoors and do outdoor crazy rock climbing and everything, but yeah, once uh, the baby is here and we've got one, two, three weeks or something at home, we might be able, or I might be able to go out again for some uh, adventures, let's see. And this is probably going to be going to mark the comeback in terms of rock climbing as well. And until that happens, we're gonna increase the body strength power just simply again. So yeah, doesn't look too bad already with the handstand and everything. Okay. So slowly getting there, slowly getting there. You know what, let's try a front lever. Don't have my my bars with me at the moment so we gotta improvise a little bit with the regards to training gear for the front lever let's work with this cherry tree here should work i tried it out before oh, man. okay that didn't work so bad something oh, I think there's something I popped something in my spine now let's see okay uh, spine seems to be okay for now it's really interesting with these spine popping injuries like sometimes you have only a small little shift in something back there you know maybe some maybe some muscle fiber or what and it's really a big problem maybe because it's just hit the nerve that is right beside it or what I don't know Sometimes you have a little pop and almost nothing happens, you know, you just feel a little pain and then it's already gone again. So you gotta be a bit lucky there. <laughs> but yeah, obviously you should be careful if you come back from a longer break and um, you do all these hard moves again. 
your body might your body might not be used to it at the moment so yeah slowly dive into it again I think we gonna try another handstand shall we Wow, well that wasn't too bad, we almost managed a semi-clean push-up, so yeah, I don't know, for some reason I'm not really good at holding balance this morning, maybe it's because I just stood up, <laughs> but yeah, I just had to make use of this beautiful weather, because I don't know, I think later the rain comes again, so yeah, let's see what we can make out of this session. Planche thing feels really hard today. Maybe we should go for something that's called a lean planche or yeah, I think it's called lean planche. Let's try that. Planche lean. Yeah, I think maybe we should go with that first <laughs> a couple of times, the planche lean. Because you still get quite some support from your toes, you know. And then you can lean in and at some point you just let go and fall into the pad. Let's try another front lever. Maybe the crucial thing is not to look too much to the front, you know, while doing the front lever. Because I have the feeling that all these, these spine, spine popping problems, they really come when you under tension start bending your spine into into a certain direction okay so as long as you're under tension you should try to keep your spine as straight as possible look up you know in case of the front lever for example look to the front in case of the of the planche lean and the, the planche attempts and everything um, yeah otherwise you're gonna pop something probably yeah Another thing is when you do the one armers and you have the assisting arm significantly below your pulling arm. I think the mechanism for that is essentially the same. What happens then is that as you push up or pull up respectively, your spine makes a little S, okay? Because the arms are at such a height difference, they should be at the same height, but the, the assisting arm is down here and then if your uh, spine makes a curve like that, then again, something pops very easily, okay? Yeah, these are just a couple of things that I have observed with these kind of calisthenics um, spine popping injuries. Maybe it helps some of you out there. I can't really conform, uh, control my form that way. I can't look to the front. <laughs> that didn't work so bad. So we made a couple minutes rest. Now we're gonna try a even more straddled version, I think, of the front lever. Simply because it's a bit easier, and I have the feeling that um, you know, if you haven't really got the strength to perform the front lever properly, uh, it's better to make an easier version like the straddle plan uh, the straddle front lever but still stay straight okay still keep quite decent form 
because I could also as well just now try the full uh, front lever, you know, with putting the legs together, but probably my form would suck, okay, my ass would probably hang through, and this is something that we don't want to get into the routine, it's already coming, uh, you can see the rain down there already, so I'm gonna hurry up a bit. how that worked out. Little side story, I can already feel my skin from the bark of this tree after one and a half months of basically zero climbing. Uh, yeah, I've got the skin of a fairy princess now. I'm just so soft, you know, mm, like an artist. So I just did a pretty decent handstand and even mixed some push-ups in there, but I forgot to press record. So I gotta do that again for you, don't I? Let's try our best. You know what, it's really cool how, how quickly these things get better, man. Even over the course of just one session, one single session. It's also really crucial to find a position with your hands, you know, because obviously the lawn is not completely flat. And there's all these small little bumps. It's really crucial to find a good position with your hands. So if you're working on a lawn as well, yeah, don't get discouraged. Maybe you just have a, a wrong positioning with your hands and it's getting really hard to hold balance that way, right? Um, another thing is when the lawn is very wet, as it, often, it is still in the morning, you kind of slip around a bit with your hands, so yeah, obviously you gotta be a bit careful then with your handstands. But yeah, overall I must say I'm pretty happy with this, uh, with this performance. For not working out for such a long time, it's pretty okay. And uh, yeah, let's try a planche again, I would say, see how that works out. seen that that wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad man I think we're on the right track here often it's just you know uh, seems as if the brain just has shut down the connection to these muscles with time but the muscles themselves they are still there and then you just gotta reactivate the connection you know and this can go over the course of one session pretty much already and obviously it's not as good as it could be but um, yeah, I'm kind of happy, I must say, with the performance. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do one or two more things. Then I'm gonna finish this session up. This was maybe 40 minutes or something. 40 minutes including mobilizing. I kept it short, I had to, I have to, because here the rain is already coming again. Big, big clouds coming. Um, but this was just perfect wake up, man. This was a perfect morning session, I would say. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe I could drop some training motivation onto you guys as well. It's gonna be a struggle to come back, I'm gonna tell you this much. I don't even have any idea where my climbing performance is at right now because yeah, I haven't touched any climbing for over a month, like even one and a half months now. So obviously this is gonna be interesting, right? But yeah, we will do our best. Something really special today for breakfast and post-workout meal at the same time. We're gonna make something like a mango lassi or something it's called, I think. in. I think they drink this in in India quite a lot. I'm not sure though. Oh, and I already messed up the the mango pieces of this one already a bit. Business as usual. I'm gonna take a proper knob to enhance the creaminess. I'm gonna in with, go in with raw milk. So now we're in with 600 ml. This mango was already pretty ripe, which means that there was not an, a lot of fiber in there, thankfully. 
you know, one of these, these harsh fibers, these mango fibers. Despite that, we're gonna strain it just simply to see what comes out. Mm. Really good, really good. I can really recommend. Thanks for watching, drop a like and comment. I'll see you soon in the next one, guys. Bye.